What can we expect from your character this season? When we first see Jackie this year, he is kind of up to his old tricks. He really hasn't learned too much from season one. He is uh, driving recklessly, uh, drinking, doing coke with a young woman. We don't even really realize uh, how, how they ended up um, together. And uh, she ODs right out of the out of the gate. And um, he you know, just basically dumps her. And it's, it's, it's really kind of a despicable way to, uh, to start out. Um, and I think that the relationship with the DeCourcy Ward character is, again, um, complicated. And uh, there's a lot of who needs who and who's using who, you know, that kind of stuff is going on. And Jackie, um, is vulnerable this 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 season uh you know his job is is in jeopardy um there's there's issues at home uh his wife is starting to uh, branch out and not need him as much and that's that's threatening to him so it's 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 good stuff that they gave me to play i was fascinated watching it i love the opening scene because um, I love those old Lincolns. It's like a boat that you navigate down the road. It made me wonder what your three favorite cars would be in your dream garage. What would what would you have in there? I have a I have a car right now that um, that I'm, I'm I just got, which was a '69 six, uh, uh, Bronco, uh, which is a lot of fun. Uh, I can only drive in the summer. It doesn't have any doors or uh, roof. Uh, or windows, <laughs> um, but it, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. I mean, I guess probably it would be, it would, I, I, I have, um, I have a Tesla, which I think is an absolute marvel. Um, and then, uh, you know, I guess something fun and vintage, probably American, maybe, a, you know, a, a, like a 58 Corvette, uh stingray or maybe a 64 and a half mustang uh muscle you know, car yeah I, I i like those american um kind of cars yeah i wondered um if you had something special that gets you into character uh, maybe a piece of clothing a clothing is is a is is one piece of a very very uh kind of complex puzzle when it comes to stepping into a character. When I come into work in the morning, it starts with uh, sitting down in the makeup chair and the hair chair. And I start to see this kind of trans, tra you know, transformation that, that uh, those professionals do on me. And even if it's not too different from my own look, it's part of the process that starts to get me there. Um, sometimes I'll start to play music that I think is in the pocket of, of what uh, Jackie might be listening to. And then, you know, I start to put on the clothing and, uh, you know, for instance, I have a, these uh, shirts that are custom made for Jackie and right on the sleeve is a little JR for Jackie Roar embroidered. And, and when I look down at that, you know, it doesn't say KB, you know, it says JR and, and, uh, the final, the final uh, moment is, is slipping on those shoes. And, and it's amazing how when you look down at shoes, it really makes you feel a certain way. And sometimes if the shoes are really uncomfortable, if you're doing a running scene and you don't actually see the shoes in the shot, they'll give you something else to wear. You know, uh, women oftentimes are, you know, forced to wear high heels. So they mm -hmm. have to put some, you know, Uggs on or whatever in between shots. But it, but it doesn't feel quite right when you look down and the wrong shoes are on there. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's, all, it's all part of the process. Really enjoyed my time with you. Yeah, cheers.